The Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, ZEC, has come under fire for allegedly leaking voters' mobile numbers to the ruling party, Sanu PF, which is now using the numbers to solicit for votes using short message services, SMSs. Electoral watchdogs have questioned how ZANU PF accesses phone numbers of registered voters after the ruling party started broadcasting President Mnangagwa's campaign message ahead of the 2023 polls. The unsolicited text messages being sent specifically state the constituency one would cast their votes at. This is not the first time Zek has been accused of allegedly leaking voters' mobile phone numbers to ZANU PF, giving the ruling party an unfair advantage over the opposition. In the run-up to the 2018 harmonized elections, Zek was accused of leaking the electorate's phone numbers to the ruling ZANU PF party, which were used to send campaign messages to the electorate. One of the messages written in Shona and if translated to English reads, Greetings, this is my WhatsApp number for Hatfield. Keep it in your mobile phone and inform other Hatfield residents. I will be keeping you updated through my WhatsApp status, what the government is doing to build our nation in Hatfield. Thank you. Yours, President Idi Mnangagwa. Zek Deputy Chairperson Rodney Simukai Kiwa denied claims that the electoral board had availed the voters' role with phone numbers of voters to ZANU PF. That's not true. We are not aware, Kiwa said. No comment could be obtained from ZANU PF as both the party spokesperson Christopher Mchangwa and political commissioner Mike Bima were not picking up calls yesterday. But electoral watchdogs demanded an explanation from Zek on how ZANU PF access voters' mobile phone numbers. While political parties can canvass for votes through various channels, the underlying concerns around unsolicited text messages from political parties is where they got the voters' information from. Election Resource Center Legal and Advocacy Officer Takunda Tsunga said, if there has been any involvement of the Electoral Commission in providing citizens information, then this goes to the fundamentals of free and fair elections, whereby one party is advantage over others. Zek must clarify. Data analyst Tim Pachedu also called for legal action against Zek for allegedly leaking the role with voters' phone numbers to ZANU PF. Zek has illegally leaked the new voters' role with phone numbers to ZANU PF. Voters are now receiving unsolicited ZANU PF messages, including those in new constituencies. The Data Protection Act and multiple laws have been violated. We demand an explanation. Zek must be sued for violating the Data Protection Act by sharing phone records with ZANU PF. Econet and Netuan must also be sued for illegally facilitating unsolicited bulk SMSs for ZANU PF. Second, ZANU PF must not be allowed to break our laws wantonly, said Tim Pachedu.